Ah, good evening, Ulfbear. I've come to talk to you of some grave matters. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, not quite what I meant by grave matters. I, I wanted to talk to you about who forges your arms and armor. Since Adrian's death, I've had to buy them from the Khajiit caravans. <sighs> Tried making some myself, but I'm no good with the forge and anvil. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? <sighs> well, I see you. You don't really want to talk about it, but... I would like to get down to the bottom of her death. If, if there's any information you can think of, please let me know. Mm-hmm. Damn, that was a sore subject. Huh. Perhaps I'd be able to find some other folks in town that knew something. Huh. The forge seemed eerily quiet. She was always out here. While we weren't exactly close, uh, it did bring me joy to see her out here working. It's not very often you see a woman working as a smith. Uh, I did have to get down to the bottom of... Why would she leave me anything? It made no sense. Surely she had friends and family that mattered more than I. Hmm. Well, perhaps I would head up to Dragon's Reach. Speak with the Jarl and maybe his advisors. Ah, good evening. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Ah, uh, well, in a manner. Ha, huh, very well. <sighs> Dragon's Reach. Hmm. Hopefully I would find some answers, and really this would be where I would be coming to purchase a home anyway. The maids. They certainly had their work cut out with them with those two huge rugs. It was amazing they found time to get to any other spots in this. Ah, uh, yes. The Jarl's advisor. That was... That was her father. Perhaps he would share something with me. Ah, excuse me. No, oh, excuse me. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Well... No. I could tell he was barely holding it together. The look on his face, I could tell. I mean, the loss of your child. Better keep things official. I didn't want him to open fresh wounds for this man. Uh, sir, I'm, I'm told you are who I'd speak to about purchasing a house in the city. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Well, I, I believe I'll take it. I, I am in need of a domicile. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Ah, uh, thank you very, very much. I think I will head out and take a look. It's Bree's home? I, oh, yes, it says right on the key. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Thank you. Huh. This place felt awkward. Ah. Ah. It saddened my heart that it appeared I would not get down to the bottom of Adrian's death, but Well, I could tell that there would not be very many people I could press on the issue, but if something came to light, I swore to myself I would absolutely get down to the bottom of it, but I couldn't force people to open up if they didn't want to. Huh. My new home. It felt strange to call somewhere home again. 
<sighs> the only home I'd ever truly known was the home Angelina and I shared. She was always the decorator, a great homemaker. <laughs> well, it certainly had been uh, empty for a long time. Oh, I'm going to hear a fire. Hmm. Well, it certainly needed some work. Needed a needed a woman's touch. But, hmm. Well, I suppose it would do, so long as I could secure some of my belongings and uh, rest without having to pay an innkeeper or worry about bed availability. Huh. Well, cobwebs everywhere, by the gods. Well, I would unload some of my burden. I felt much lighter. Mm, quicker on my feet. Ah, fantastic. Mm, I would sell some things at market as well. Wonderful. Well, it wasn't much to look at, but it was mine. Ah. Huh. You must have put out some food and lit the candles for me. Ah, <laughs> set of clothes, yeah. Hmm. I'll take the bottle of ale, certainly. Oh, and some wine. I think I needed wine. Wonderful. Well, I would have to worry about decorating it later. Yes. For now, I was lighter on my feet. <sighs> Since I wasn't going to get down to the bottom of Adrian's death, I may as well head back and go to... Oh! Honor to you, my Thane. Ah, Lydia! <laughs> she startled me. Honored to see you again, my Thane. So, I, I did forget you were my house, Carl. Uh, remind me again what all it is you're going to do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Hmm. I greatly appreciate the charge, but uh, I do hope, I do hope that you'll find purpose here, not just in a, in a charge given to you by the Jarl. Mm -hmm. uh, I can detect a hint of resentment. It felt bad to fundamentally have an indentured servant. No. I would not think of her as such, and I hope she would not think of herself. Uh, nightfall. Well, I would head to the carriage, head back to Riften. Ah, uh, yes. Back to Riften. Hopefully the journey would be quick and safe. Excuse me. Ride? Yes, I do. Where do you want to go? Uh, back to Riften, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Thank you. <laughs> Perhaps he would find it in his heart to give me a discount with how often I had to make this trip. You'll want to watch yourself in Riften. A lot of ways to get yourself in trouble in that town. Don't I know it. I would see the apothecary quickly before I left. Get rid of some of these potions that were still weighing my pockets. Hello? Hello? Oh, uh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to interrupt your meal. Um, very quickly, however. You here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? I'd actually like to sell you something. Um, and perhaps buy something. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Hmm. <laughs> Not not what I would call myself, but thank you. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Ah, wonderful. A pleasure doing business. Yes, yes, goodbye. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Ah, all right. Quick bite to eat. Refill my water skins and we would be off. Wonderful. I was ready. 
ready as I was going to be anyway. Now, I can't imagine I would run into another dragon. Well, I would come along the south again, yes. That's exactly what I would do. I would come along the south and head up to Golden Glow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very well. Hmm. I was fast approaching where the dragon... Where the dragon attacked. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems all... No. It couldn't be. Ugh, damn. Ah, where did he go? Where was he? This couldn't be. Ah, how could this be? No. Here in the shadows, it doesn't see me, sees me. Damn. Damn, damn. Oh, there he is. Oh, by the gods. What was his fascination with this form? Is he gone? He must be gone. Hmm. Good. I wasn't sure how well I would fare on my own. you come from, old chap? Hmm. Well. Here was the meteory. Hmm. Hopefully my strategy would pay off. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Skyrim. In the comments section, please let me know what you think of the show, what you think of the character, and what you think of the story. I have new episodes of this twice a week, as well as several other series, so be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. Thank you very much again, and we'll see you in the next episode.